Okay, this is June 29, 2021, here in Kitchener, Ontario, Zone 5. And we've just had a day of massive thunderstorms. We've got a ton of, ton of rain. I think I mentioned in one of my previous videos about this rainwater collection, one of my previous uh, compost videos. So here you can see, that's a day's worth of rain collected in these upside down lids. And uh, my swamp bucket is now full to overflowing. My uh, my other buckets are now all full, so um, I don't know. I'm gonna have to uh, start using, I think, some of that swamp bucket water. Um, we had a little bit. There was some hail, and so I was looking around. That's some hail damage on this uh, squash plant here. Uh, for the most part, it wasn't very serious. Uh, the hail, and so I didn't see a lot of damage here. Um, but anyway, the thing I wanted to talk about was, so I think it was only yesterday I rebuilt this pile, uh, yard waste that was already semi-composted or, you know, somewhat fresh. Um, some of which, out of the swamp bucket, I just sifted. There was stuff sitting in the swamp bucket for months now, I guess since early spring. And uh, I sifted out some of that, which was very swampy and slimy. And so there's layers of swamp bucket material in here, fresh material and a whole lot of kitchen waste. And um, so this is the very next day. Oops, okay, now there's there's hornets right there. I've lifted the, you know, I'm gonna just mention this first. Uh, I've taken the cone off and uh, I'm gonna gradually and carefully, I should have come out and done it during the thunderstorm um, and opened that up. And I'm gonna hope that the neighborhood skunk will get in there and take care of that problem. But anyway, uh, I don't wanna disturb them while I'm making the video, they are, uh, very willing to come out so anyway the thing I wanted to do was uh, so this is the very next day I've dug down a little bit into this and already can you see the steam coming off that I wish I had a compost thermometer so I could actually measure that but it's very hot so anyway we'll close that up I did not I gave it a, uh, a watering can of water just rainwater I did not um, did not use Miracle Grow on this, and I think I will not uh, use it on this as an accelerant because that's already hot the very next day. So anyway, that's the uh, see. There's one of those yellow jackets running around. Anyway, the very next day, quite uh, quite hot, just with the loose, unshredded material. So that's a nice result. I gotta figure out what to do with all the fresh rainwater that has just fallen. Um, and I gotta, you know, maybe make some progress on this wasp uh, wasp pile here. Maybe if, you know, if the skunk won't take care of it, I think I'll just put the cone back on, just start filling that thing, forget about harvesting any material from it, and, um, you know, I'll, I'll, then I'll be able to empty it in the fall when these, when these wasps have left. Uh, okay, let's end it there. See you in the next one.